Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lit code problem number 70, climbing stairs. In this problem, we are given the value n, which is the number of stairs in the staircase. And we are given that each time we could either climb um, one step or two steps. And we need to find how many ways, in how many distinct ways can we climb to the top of that staircase. So let's see how we could solve this problem. So suppose we have a staircase where the number of steps, stairs n is equals to 5. Well, this is stair number 1, number 2, staircase 3, 4 and 5. So that's that. Now the number of ways we could reach this top staircase the top of the staircase where the number of stair steps is five so how many different ways can we reach step five to reach step five we need to reach step four right to reach step four we need to reach step three to reach three we need to reach five, two and to need to reach two we need to reach one and to reach one we need to start from the ground we are starting from the ground so how many ways can we reach one well basically we can reach one only in one way because we can only take one step from the ground to reach one because if we take two steps we are going to reach a staircase number two so we are taking one step so that's only one way we could reach step one now what about step 2? In how many ways can we reach step 2? We could reach step 2 from step 1 by taking only one step or we could reach step 2 from floor by taking two steps, right? So that will be equals to two different ways. Now what about 3? We could reach 3 from 1 by taking one step and we could reach 3 from step number 1 by taking two steps. So from 2, if we take one step, um, what's happening is we could reach step number 2 in two ways. So we reached here in two ways by either taking one step on each of the steps or by taking two steps at a time, right? So once we reach here, we, from, from 2 to 3, we can reach by taking one step. So how many ways are there? Basically, it's two ways from step two because uh, one way is this way and then I was one step. The other one is two steps to step two and then one step to three. So that's two steps. The number of ways to reach uh, step number two um, Plus, now how many ways can we reach 3 from step 1? It is 2 ways, right? Uh, it's only 1 way because we can only take 2 steps to reach step number 3 from step 1 directly from 1. We are not take, talking about uh, indirectly where you could from 1 to you could step on 2 and to 3 because we have already taken that into account while we are trying to reach step 3 from 2 so when uh, directly from 1 we could reach uh, by taking two steps and we could reach one in one step uh, one way right so that will be equals to total of three different ways uh, now if you may be considering in how many ways can we reach three from the ground well basically directly we need directly from step 0 to step 3 we cannot reach it because you can either take one step and if you take one step you are going to reach to step number one if you take two steps you are going to reach to step number two for you to reach step three you need three steps and you're not allowed to take three steps because it's given here each time you can either take climb one or two steps so um, we could reach three from one in one way and from step two in two different ways what about three what about uh, step four uh, so to reach step four we can reach it from three by taking one step and while uh, stepping from three 
we could actually reach three in three ways right so that would mean that we could reach four from three in three different ways and we could reach four from two in by taking two steps and that would be in two different ways because because we can reach two in two different ways so this will be a total of five now what about five that would be from one by one step and the number of ways is five uh five not one i'm sorry from four a by taking one step and from three by taking two steps which is three different ways so five plus three equals to eight now if you would carefully look we are actually creating a fibonacci sequence starting from zero one two three which is equals to one plus two five which is equals to two plus three eight which is equals to three plus five fibonacci sequence is where basically to find the next element we uh, find the value of the previous two elements so to find the next element what would this be we find the previous two elements and then we add these two elements so this would be equals to 13 5 plus 8 13 so now we know how to uh, approach the problem let's try to solve the problem so uh, first of all i'll be taking uh, doing the recursive method and then the iterative method for the recursive method what we need first of all we need two base cases so if n is less than equals to 2 we are going to return n because here to reach step number one you only need one step similarly for two you need two steps you could actually do it for three as well because for three you also need three steps right or you could just um perform the recursive operation so that depends on you so i'm just gonna do less than equals to two now to find the next to find the value of n i'm gonna do recursive call and minus one plus and minus two so if n is equals to three then i need the value for n minus one which is two and for uh, one so let's try to run the code and see okay Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's wrong here? My group calls that exceeded. What's our test cases? Okay, so as you see our test case for five it's failing let's try it for three oh, okay i need to return here return and cool it's working for test case three and three what are three let's change one of them to five what about when the value is equals to 20 all right when the value is 20 what about then cool it's working for that let's check for the maximum value of n which is 45 It seems to take a lot of time. Well, it's time limit exceeded. So we need to optimize our solution. So how could we do that? If you look here, let me just show you here. To find uh, the number of ways to reach step 5, what we need? We need the value to reach step 4 and step 3, right? 
to reach step four what do we need we need the values to reach step three and to reach step two so actually we are doing recalculating the values for three for three as well we need the value to reach step two and step one and uh, if we have n equals to six then we are actually doing five and four so each time we are doing repetitive uh, call for the same element so we are finding the number of ways to reach step four here as well and here as well similarly for three also we are doing it twice for and so on so in order to avoid the repetitive call repetitive calculation what we could do is we could save the value from one of the calls in our array so let's use an array here i'm gonna create a global array of the size which is the maximum size of the and and then each time what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna calculate the value and store the value in our dp and return the value of and from here so what i'm doing here is if n is suppose if n is equals to four then uh, i need the value for three and two so it makes a recursive call for three and when it makes a recursive call for three it uh, what it does it it needs the value for two and value for one and it makes a recursive for call for two and we know the uh, value for two is returned from here so um returns the value of two it returns the value for one which is equals to one and it saves in the uh, array the value of three now for uh, four what we do is um, it takes the value okay right so if um, because we have already now calculated the value for three right so if it is in DP then return the value for the that one because in the next iteration suppose I needed the value for five then I, I could just find the value for three here and return it without having to calculate again the value for two and value for one and so on so now let's try to submit this and see do we get time error well we did not get time limit exceeded error now let's try to solve this using iterative method so we will still need our array to store the values now i'm just going to define some of the base cases that we did for the array for the recursive function as well so dp of one will be equals to one and dp of two will be equals to two now while you could use a for loop as well so i'm going to use a for loop i equals to three i starting from three because we already have one and two so i starting from three i is less then equals to n i plus plus and then what i'm we are uh, we will be calculating the value for dpi i minus one plus dp of i minus two and then finally we are going to return the value for dpn because that will be stored in our last element in the array and the size could be n and let's try to run our code great let's submit it cool so the time complexity for this iterative solution is o of n because we have one for loop and the space complexity is also of n because we are using an array similar is for the recursive function where the time complexity is also o of n and the space complexity is o of n hope you liked it